Hey everyone, Matt from TotalMTG here and welcome to another video today and it's a very special one. The Challenger decks are out and do you know that I've been doing lots of Challenger videos recently and this is the next one in that series and we get to unbox an actual paper product of it. Thanks to my sponsors Magic Madhouse for sending this my way. Very thankful of them, my friends. So make sure you go and check them out. There'll be links in the description. Please go and check them out. They sell, you know, the UK's largest MTG gathering selling company. And I'm very lucky that they've sent me this product to unbox for you today. So without further ado, let's do what you come here for. Let's unbox this and take, have a look what's inside. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at the box. Um, Allied Fires, uh, if you think anything cooler than a personal Planeswalker army is a personal Planeswalker army that can also turn into dragons, this deck is for you. So the contents are a battled ready 60 card deck, 15 card cyborg, 5 double sided tokens, and you get a deck boss. Now, interestingly, on the side as well, you do get the deck list, which is very good. So it tells you all of the allied fires, what's in there, the creatures, the spells, the lands, the cyborg, everything like that. So you know exactly what you're going to get in this deck. So let's get into it. Hopefully I won't struggle too much getting into products. It's always the thing when you do an open, you're like sitting there for 10 minutes trying to open it. You have to edit it out. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Right, here we go. So, unbox. There is the sweet little deck box there. That's a nice one. Side swipe one. Really cool. Open it up. Going to get some stuff in there. Anything in there? Nothing in there. It's just, just made ready for the cards. So, we're going to open this out. And what do we get? Well, we get this little pack there. We also get a divider as well. Oh, bang the camera. You know me. And then we get a pack of cards as well there. So... You get this. Your resource for magic. What comes next now that you've already played six card deck? Now these are ready to play straight out of the box, which is amazing for them. If you want any upgraded videos, make sure you check some links in the description because I've put upgrades for these already out on the channel so you can go and check them out as well with additional gameplay with some collabs with my friend Ed at Greenport TV. But these are the decks ready to play. First of all, as we're here, let's take a look at what's inside so we can have a look at the actual cards. There we go. So let's zoom in a bit, shall we, so we can see the goodness of these cards. So in this deck, we're going to get a mass manipulation, which is a great card to have in there. Gain control of X, target creatures and or planeswalkers. We've got the Sarkhan in there as well. So this is actually the Cyborg. So the Cyborg will come separately packed, which is really nice. Time Wipe, a very nice card. Ashiok Dream Render. Devout Decree. And we have more Devout Decrees here. Dovin Hand Control. Now, like I said in when I put these videos out, this for me is the best deck. This for me out of the four is the strongest deck. You can do so many things with Fire's Inventions itself. You can make so many great additions to this deck off-color cards and everything like that, which makes Fires of Invention really, really good. If you're looking for absolute value from the decks, this is straight because this one is actually, for me, like I said, the best deck there is, but it's actually the cheapest. They all range from different prices. This one is actually the cheapest. I think it's around £22 over on uh, Magic Maradouse, and the others range up to £30. Look at me struggling with this. That's better. It's got a little thing just to open. So, yes, this is the cheapest one. But for me, like I say, this is the best one. But if you're looking for value, you're going to look at the Flash of Ferocity deck because that has Brazen Borea and a Fable Passage, which does have a lot of value in there. I like this deck because Kenrith. Now, Kenrith is a really cool card in this deck. You probably want two of them in there. Um, if you want to do the upgrade, you can go and buy a single for that, get another Kenrith. But also for Commander, for me, I wanted a Kenrith to play with as well. Deafening Clarion in the deck is really good removal. Uh, three damage to each creature. And, th and you can also give creatures lifelink until end of turn your creatures. But it will obviously sweep up some of your creatures potentially as well. You get three of them in there. Two Fate of Wishes, really cool card because you get to choose a non-creature you own from outside the game, which is what this deck does. It has a lot of different shenanigans. You can go and find those off-color cards to play. Once you've got your Fires Invention down, you can go and search for this and get something really good. 
Dawn of Dreams, nice card as well, Dawn from Dreams. Look at the top seven, put two in your hand. Very strong, four mana sorcery. So you're getting two of them as well. Now, what the deck is made around, you get a play set of Fires of Invention. Now, this is why I wanted to get this deck, first of all, because it's just such a cool card. It doesn't matter what lands you have in there. Just as uh, if you've got four lands down there, it doesn't matter what color they are, and you can then play Drawn from Dreams down there. Or if you've got, obviously, different color lands, it makes no difference. This will just let you play them. Now, it does have stipulations. You can only cast spells during your turn and no more than two. But putting down your two best, you know, strongest cards is what makes that really, really strong. We've got Sarkhan in the main board as well, because you want to turn all your Planeswalkers into dragons. And Sarkhan is a cracking, cracking card. A couple of time wipes, nice removal. You can bounce one of your creatures, send it back. And you get Ugin. So for me, you're getting some not only um, standard stuff here, you're getting some stuff that's really good for Commander. Fae of Wishes, Sarkhan, Ugin's Time Wipes, all of these Dawn of Dreams are definitely playable in other formats. This is our money card. We get Steam Vents. This is the one money card in this deck. We don't get Fabled Passage, unfortunately. But like I said, if you're getting this for value, you're going to go and get those other decks like the Flash of Ferocity deck because that does have some real value. But it will cost you £30 whereas this will cost you 22. So there you get some temples here. We've got Enlightenment, Epiphany, and Triumph. The first thing you'll be looking to do with this up deck, although it's ready to play straight out the box, which is what it's meant to do, take to your F&M, is you want to upgrade those lands if you can. Kazmina is a nice planeswalker. We get four, uh, three of them, four of them. There's a lovely Narset behind there. This is nice, minus two. Um, it's not one of the strongest ones for me, and when I upgraded, this is one that I did eventually just took out for better planeswalkers. But it does do a job. It protects your planeswalkers and gives you a bit of card draw element as well. Nissa, definitely one of the best planeswalkers you get in this pack. Played in multiple different formats. Cracking, cracking card, and we get the full play set of Narsets. So if you've got, you know, haven't got your Narsets, you're going to get them in this deck. Omen of the Sea as a four of as well, which is nice. Sahili can make the deck tick round. We cast a lot of non-creature spells, so we can you know, mass that board with 1-1 one, one servo artifact creature tokens. Really, really cool card. Now I'm going to get to the land. So you get this land here, which is a, only an uncommon, but whenever you cast a Planeswalker, you gain one life. Very on theme with this deck. We might be, you know, aggro decks are going to be coming at you. If you haven't seen the videos, make sure you check them out. You can see this deck in action and see how good it was. It was such a popular video. Um, but this can, you know, generally paying two Planeswalkers, you can gain that life. It can get you back in the game. But once you get Kenrith on the field and you can do the ability of paying three and gaining five life, those aggro decks don't really generally come back when a Kenrith is on the field if you've managed to stabilise up to them. So you do get, get the old game one life lands in there. You've got Swift Cliffs, you've got Tranquil Coves, you've also got the Crag as well. Um, which are great, but they come in tapped. Now, these will obviously make it harder to cast your fires on turn. But, you know, they do gain your life. But would you rather get your fires down? Maybe upgrading those lands. If you can't go to, like, the Sacred Foundries and everything like that, because they're around £10, £12 pounds each, you know, upgrade them maybe to more temples. At least when that comes in tap, you're scrying and potentially finding what you need, is my idea. And then we get planes mountains and islands and then we get some tokens here which are very nice we get the dragon token they're also double-sided as well so you get your spirit tokens on the back we get servo servo on an adventure so you get an adventure card with really really cool art there i wish these were foil is that just me being you know being asking too much um but i would like these as foils i think it would make the deck a little bit more special you are paying obviously over 20 pound for this product but you're getting a lot of sweet cards you're getting a cardboard deck box that you can put it in so if you're if you're a new player to the game you are getting a deck box as well so you can just put this in there you don't have to worry about you know you can take it straight to your fnm straight to play in a box you can just upgrade that anytime i know there's some ultra pro boxes on magic Badass that you can definitely go and check out and then some of them are you know they're pretty cheap as well so you can get a cheap deck box but these decks you know they're not just for beginners they're great for beginners but i think with what's in the decks as well especially you know when you look at all four they have some cracking cards in there that some you know more regular players that have been playing for a long time will want to pick up as well i think they're great they can all be upgraded and turned into slightly better but you know for the money you're getting a deck ready to play straight out of the box and can be competitive 
So this has been a quick unboxing for you of the Allied Fires deck. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks to Magic Madhouse again. Don't forget to check them out in the link below. There'll be some more videos coming out over the weekend. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and liking the video really helps out. And please leave me a little comment. I'd love to know which decks you're going to get, which ones you've picked up and which is your favourite deck. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, you lot take care and I'll see you on the next video.